overcrowding in the emergency departments has become an increasingly significant global public health problem, causing problems for patients and staff. Differentiating patients who require admission from those who can safely be managed as an outpatient is challenging, especially under added pressure of an overcrowded ED. Challenging diagnosis may include patients presenting with non-specific signs and symptoms of infection, or even frail patients who often require a complex assessment. Identifying patients with a higher risk for disease progression can help prioritise patients in need of immediate care and discharge those patients eligible for outpatient treatment. Adding the biomarker MR Pro ADM to existing ED early warning scores has been demonstrated to improve risk assessment. MR Pro ADM is a biomarker released from the endothelial cells when endothelial integrity is at risk. Endothelial dysfunction is an early central event in the initial stages of sepsis development. The concentration of MR Pro ADM in plasma correlates with the severity of dysfunction and risk for pending organ failure. Clinical studies reveal that MR Pro ADM with a cutoff of 0.87 nenomol per litre can be used to assess the risk for disease progression in patients with suspected infection. Patients with an MR Pro ADM concentration above 0.87 nenomol per litre have a higher risk for progression to a more severe disease condition. While if the concentration is equal or below 0.87 nenomol per litre, the risk for progression to a more severe disease condition is low. Thus, integration of MR Pro ADM into routine risk assessments can improve decision making on level of care. In patients with mild to moderate severe acute illness, a clinical assessment suggesting outpatient treatment combined with an MR Pro ADM value equal or below 0.87 nenomol per litre confirms the judgment of safe discharge. Conversely, an MR Pro ADM value above 0.87 nenomol per litre supports decisions to admit the presenting patient. Patients with an MR Pro ADM value increased above 1.5 nenomol per litre have an elevated risk for progression to a more severe disease. Considered disposition to a higher level of care. In situations where clinical assessment and MR Pro ADM value provide discrepant information on patient allocation, patients should be observed in the hospital with further testing scheduled within 24 hours before again using the threshold of 0.87 nenomol per litre to support admission and discharge decisions. In an interventional study comparing standard care to the MR Pro ADM aided clinical risk assessment, the standard of care group showed a discharge rate of 42.4%, while the percentage of discharge patients in the MR Pro ADM aided group was 62.8%. This near 50% increase of discharged patients in the MR Pro ADM group was safe as there was no mortality and no significant difference in readmission rates compared to the control group. In conclusion, this interventional study has shown that in patients with suspicion of infection presented to the ED, the MR Pro ADM algorithm can help to identify at risk patients who require hospitalization increase safe discharge up to 50% and optimize patient workflow.